Hi everyone, welcome back to online classroom Jeko Tio. In this video, we are going to look at the addition and subtraction of light. It is a very colorful and a very interesting topic. First of all, the colored lights can be divided into two different categories. They are the primary color and also secondary color. The primary color lights we have red light, blue light, and also green light. However, for secondary color, we have magenta, cyan, and also the yellow lights. So three colors each. First, what is the addition of light? The addition of light simply means that we take one primary color light, add it to another primary color light, and they will produce a secondary color light. Let's take a look at the three pairs that we have. First, we take a red light and we have it added to a blue light and we will produce a magenta light. Remember, magenta belongs to secondary color. And red plus another color from primary color group, what is that? It is green. Red light and green light will produce yellow light. Blue light and green light, however, will produce cyan light. What happens if we have all the three primary colors added together? We have red, blue, and green added together. We will actually produce surprisingly the white light. I know all of this look very different from your coloring experience. When you are in art lesson, you have your crayons, you get the red color and the green color, put them together, they don't make yellow. Red, blue and green also do not make white. Remember, this is different. This is the addition of light. Okay, this is the addition of light. It is different from our usual experience in our art lesson so bear that in mind i need you to remember this one for the addition of light okay another um, infographic that might help you is this all right the three circles this is the whole summary of the addition of light where we have red blue and green as our primary and then the interception between red and blue meaning red plus blue we have magenta Red and green, we have yellow. Green and blue, we have cyan. And all three overlap, we have white. So this is our summary of the addition of light. Well, when we look at different fruits, okay, we look at banana, we know it is yellow. When we look at strawberries, we know the fruit is red and the leaf is green. How does our eyes see colors? This is because of the subtraction of light. What is the subtraction of light? The concept is very different from the addition of light. The subtraction of light simply means that the light that has the same color as the color of the opaque objects that we are seeing will be reflected directly into our eyes. Only the light with the same color will be reflected. That's how we see colors. Well, wait a minute, what is opaque object? Do you still remember that word? When we, look, uh, when we talk about the properties of light, remember? The opaque object is the object that will not allow light to pass through them. They are not transparent. So that's the meaning of opaque objects, okay? So how about the uh, light of other colors? They will all be absorbed by the object. Only the light of the same color with the object will be reflected. Well, what do you mean, Jekutio? Well, let's look further. We have the principle of light subtraction, and this principle tells us that for primary, co primary colors object, what is our primary colors? We have red, blue, and green. So if so the, the opaque object that we are looking at is from these three categories for example the strawberries the fruit is red the leaf is green if they are from this group of uh, this group of colors okay they will only reflect the light that has the same colors as them okay for example if the object is green the light the white light go or, or, or is directed at the object 
only the green light will be reflected and we can see the color green. The rest of the colors, other colors will all be absorbed. And so the object appears green to us. How about if the object is us? of the secondary colors remember our secondary colors we have magenta cyan and yellow so they will only reflect the light of the same color as them and also the two primary colors that form them okay for example if the object is yellow in color yellow is a secondary color so the yellow colored lights will be reflected not only a yellow color will be reflected but remember what makes yellow we have red and green will make yellow so red and green will also be reflected so when we look at the banana we only see yellow we don't see red or green why because the red and the green the the red light and the green light would already have been overlapped they overlap and they becomes yellow to us to our eyes because of the addition of light okay so secondary colored object will reflect three different colors their own colors and the two primary colors that form them what if the object is white in color can you guess what happened well remember why white, white is made up of all three primary colors so white colored object will actually reflect all colors in the white light and then all this color will overlap and produce white light again so the object appear white to us now we already know the primary primary colored object secondary and white how about black what happened when the light is directed to a black object black object will actually absorb all colors in white light no light will be reflected all colors in white light are absorbed and so no lights are reflected the object appear black to us the principle of light subtraction can also be understood by using color filters so just like the colored lights colored filters can also be divided into the primary the primary color filters and also the secondary color filters for primary color filters, they only allow the light of the same color to pass through. Remember, this is to help us understand our principle of the subtraction of light and the light of other colors are all absorbed. For example, we use a red filter, we direct a white light through it, only red light will be allowed to pass through. Green filter will only green, allow green light from the white light to pass through. And same thing, if we direct a white light to a blue filter, we will get only blue light passing through it. How about secondary color filters? Let's recall back on our principle of the subtraction of light. They will allow the light of the same color and also the two primary primary colors that form the secondary color to pass through for example a yellow filter we have white light uh, directed through it and then of course the yellow light will be allowed and also the two other colors what are they they are the red light and also green light and for a magenta filter a white light is directed through them and we of course have magenta and the other two primary color that uh, form magenta will be red light and also blue light and then the cyan filter we have white light passing through them and cyan light will be allowed and also the blue and the green so this is our secondary color filters so back to our main or our big idea okay the addition of light and the subtraction of light 
Can you still remember their concept? There are two very different concepts, okay? So for addition of light, it's simply how we make secondary color lights. The mixing of the primary color so that we can have our secondary color lights, okay? The subtraction of light, however, is how we see colors. When the opaque object only reflects lights of the same color as them and absorb the lights of the other color. So here is a, a summary of addition and subtraction that you can compare and contrast easily. What are some of the examples of addition and subtraction of light in our daily life? Well, number one, our colorful television. Now we see movies in colors, right? And also beautiful color lights that they install in the water fountain and they will make different patterns to the music. It is really cool to watch. We have one of such in front of KLCC. And also, if you ever attended any concert, they normally have colored lights on the stage. And also, we use colored lights in a stadium. Well, that's all from Teku Tio in Chapter 8. Congratulations for completing Chapter 8. I will see you again in the next chapter, okay? See ya! Bye! If you have learned something new from this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.